<laughs> wow. By Influenced by a dynasty or what? <laughs> yeah. The hair, the shoulder pads. At the time it seemed <coughs> so kind of... Oh, you know, thought you were just a beast. Me? He looks very young as well. Obviously it was bad, I know. bad here deep in both of you. Was that were happy memories of that time? Oh, very much so, yes. Because you were really involved good... in the whole siege story and everything, weren't you? Uh, yes, pretty much so, yes. Although that was really confined to the mm. one house. But, uh... And Brookside seems to have really cultivated some fine actors for, that mm. have gone on to do other things. Mm. Well, what is it about that particular soap, you think, that, that's done that? It's real groundbreaking stuff. Oh, I don't know. Um, uh, I think probably it was a, a good combination of um, perhaps people who hadn't had a lot of exposure on television mm. uh, to begin with, which I think made it quite special in that, uh, you know, you had a certain kind of fear which creates a certain kind of energy uh, with extraordinary writers, uh, Jimmy McGovern, you know, to name, mm. to name at one. Yes. And um, just the whole concept of the show was very innovative and um, to work in a, in a real close, you know, real houses. And it was very special. You know. Why choose <clears throat> to give it up then? Four years, you know, um, I think Perhaps, you know, some people enjoy <coughs> staying with a show for a very long time and, um, and you know, that's absolutely fine, live and let live, you know, that you, you don't feel the need to go out and, and do anything else, you enjoy your character and if there's a lot of scope in that character, then, mm. then terrific, stay with it. But I think really, you know, for me, I, I enjoy moving on to different things and, you know, pitting my wits against a new character and... So it was quite yeah. an easy decision then to make. It wasn't an easy decision because when you'd, <clears throat> you know, had a life of being in the theatre before and, uh, you know, fairly, you know, low wages and, and tramping around on buses and public transport and then suddenly you got a job where, you, you know, you could plan your next holiday and quite reasonably and... Uh, get a mortgage. Have, <laughs> get a mortgage, get a car and all those trappings, you know, but... Doesn't really, yes, it was. It took me a long time to decide, but um, I've did. never looked back on any show that I've left. I've always enjoyed them, but I've sort of, I sort of, I tend to you know, enjoy right leaving when, I, mm. when I'm still enjoying it. When the role of Beth Glover came up, it was, uh, you know, it was really like manna from heaven. I thought, oh yeah, I'd love to do that because it was, the, you know, the biggest thing I'd been offered in quite a long time. But the role particularly appealed to you, presumably. Yes, it did, and also the location because, you know, it's one of my favourite parts of, of England, uh, Derbyshire. It's just a beautiful place. The and, country um, girl bit coming out. Oh, yes. <laughs> and, you know, it was quite idyllic, really, sort of going off to work and driving through the countryside. So the first uh, couple of episodes of Silent Witness, tell us a little bit about what we're going to see. They're all very different kinds of stories. Some of them are very um, action-packed and some of them are very mellow and uh, some of them are very dark, as ever. You know, it's a dark world. More romantic involvement. More romantic involvement. Gets in yes. the way of everything. And Wynne and Sam have a really interesting relationship this mm. time round. It's, uh, you know, because the, the mother dies and uh, so it brings them quite closely together. Well, good luck with the new series. Thank you very I'm much for watching it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Amanda Burton. Thank you. Now. We'll be back in the summer with highlights from the series. So thanks to all of my guests and of course special thanks to you for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye bye. <laughs>